Well, hello. It's late in the day. The sky is very dark and I'm out in the woods for an overnighter and thought this time I would try out a Holden tent tarp shelter. Look at this oak tree. Those knobbly bits are brawls and we'll make some very fine furniture one day or maybe even some exotic veneer. I feel completely wiped out and after pitching the tarp get straight to bed. But hang around because in the morning I cook breakfast, brew some coffee and have a chat about how I sleep comfortably on the ground with just my canvas bedroll. Right, better get pitched up. Right, well I'd leave, you basically peg out the back. One, one edge of the square, this is a square tarp, Bushcraft's, Bushcraft Spain 10 foot square tarp. And then you take the centre and you tie that out. It's kind of, it, it seems to me like it's very much like a play point, except that it's square on instead of diagonal. And I think that's the easiest way to explain it really. Peg out the peg out the two gables at the front, and and then lift the lift the centre up. Man, it's massive. I mean, you know, it's using the whole three metres of the back, three metres of the length. So it's very nearly three metres by three metres. It gets a little bit narrower at the front where the gable is, but. Yeah, it's damn big. I can't imagine that you could get a tarp much bigger. It's a whopper. I, I'll show you more in the morning. But I just feel so knackered. I feel very odd this evening. Can't be bothered to light a fire or cook me tea. I just want to go straight to bed, I think. Ah, good morning. I feel better this morning. I think I was just overtired. So yeah, we're getting ready for coffee. We missed the light, lighting process. I was uh, just got it going while I was still waking up and doing the uh, morning clean up. So yeah, let's get the coffee going. Well, we had an awful lot of rain in the night. Absolutely peed down. I mean, that would have been some uh, good opportunities to have a chat with you as well, but. I was just completely out of it, really. Slept like a baby. So we got has been um, in my mug 770 today. So it's a subscription I get. I, I get one every fortnight. A beautiful, silky, smooth, textured coffee that can carry a rolling sweetness of dark toffee with chocolate and cream mixed through, opening up into sticky apricot as it cools. Mm. Yeah, mm. I needed my morning coffee though.
looking forward to this breakfast. But I think we'd better get another cup of coffee on. Wash it down afterwards. Yeah, this is a um, firebox Gen 2 stove. I got it a few years ago, so yeah, they've been around a while. I mean, they they were, you know, in their time, they were innovative. They were brilliant bits of kit, but very heavy stainless steel. You know, it weighs, I can't remember now, 800 grams, something like that. That's like one and a half pounds. It's pretty heavy. And um, I think the Chinese copies now are, you know, probably almost as good and one third of the price, maybe even less than that. We got Branston rich and fruity. Yeah. Oh, so needed this breakfast. Well hungry. Well, breakfast is over. I'm all coffeeed out. It's time to be moving on, I think. So I'm going to take down the tarp, have a clear up, and uh, I want to show you my bedroll as well. Show you how I, because I'm a side sleeper, so you know it's pretty unusual for side sleepers to sleep on a bedroll with no inflatable mattress or anything. So I want to show you how I cope with it and how I get kind of comfortable. <laughs> Okay, so I'll just take this lot down and then I'll show you. Come in, take a closer look. So this is just as I got out of it. So you can see, I've got a blanket, a, just a thin blanket underneath, just to help insulate myself from the floor a bit. And then I've got a sheepskin on the top of that. And then I pull this canvas over me, just keep me warm a bit. I must admit I was a bit chilly last night because what did Mark forget this week? Mark forgot his jumper. No woolly jumper. So I would have put the woolly jumper on between between my t-shirt and, and this canvas top. So that would have kept me warmer but is what it is. Or I would have had a fire but I was just too knackered. Couldn't be bothered to light a fire. Didn't want to cook nothing. I went straight to bed. So it is what it is. Now, I'm a side sleeper, so my hip is about here. And you know, obviously it, it gets uncomfortable sometimes and I have to roll over and go onto my other hip. But what I've got here, is a dip. So I purposely set my camp up over top of this dip. So as my hip would sink in here, and then my um, rib cage is here, and then my shoulder is here in a smaller dip. So that is how I keep myself reasonably comfortable by sleeping directly on the floor. If there was more leaf debris around, I'd rake that in as well and pile it up so it's a bit like a little soft bed. Or if you're in a pine forest, then you know pine bags work really well. But I've, I've never been able to do that yet. I'll have to go camping in a pine forest. <laughs>
Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and catch you on the next one. There we go. Apart from a dry patch, nobody'd know I've been here. <laughs>